Now, a new charity has been launched by philanthropist and founder of Phones for You, John Caldwell, to help at-risk young people. They plan to offer two-year mentorship programmes to 11 to 24-year-olds. And John Caldwell is here with me now to explain a little bit more. Welcome to you. Really good to yeah, see no, you. Yeah, th no, thanks for having so, me. So tell us a little <coughs> bit more about this charity that you're setting up and what it's trying to do. Well, it, 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 there was a charity already doing this work and it was at risk financially, you know, it was in financial difficulty. And uh, they came to me to see if I would uh, found a new charity. And so I looked at the statistics and thought about the cause and it was so completely compelling that although I'd got no time really to get involved, I had to, because it was so essential that we did this work. And why so compelling? Why this this age group in particular? Is well, important we've got reason? we've got a huge number of vulnerable of, of at risk people. They don't like me saying vulnerable for some reason, but anyway, at risk people. Um, and there's a huge number in the UK. And whilst the social services and welfare services are, are very competent, they're immensely stretched, and so they can't really do the work themselves. So if we take an at-risk person, we put a mentor one-on-one -on -one to, that, to that young person, we uh, allow that mentor to develop a, a relationship with that person over a long period of time, and that person may be already offended, may be in danger of re-offending, or maybe just in danger of offending for the first time, may be in danger of getting involved with drug addiction, and a consequential of that would probably be dealing in drugs to raise the money. Uh, there may be mental health problems or, of course, there could be sexual slavery. So whatever the reason, we have this mentor that attaches themselves to this young person, builds a relationship and trust with that person, meeting them once a week, sometimes taking them out to the cinema or, you know, bowling with them or whatever it is, to develop a relationship and a confidence and trust situation. Uh, the mentor, of course, is highly trained to do this work, to be, to be uh, effective. And it's the person there that if, if the young person is in danger uh, or feels vulnerable themselves and they feel that they need help, they've got this mentor to call and talk it through. And our success rate is, is immense. And the benefit to society is really crystal clear because, A, if we just talk about the financial benefit, there's about a fifty to £70,000 a year saving to society for every one of these young people that we prevent going down the wrong path. But of course, an equally important point is that, that every one of you out there in the public are victims of these young people's crimes. And so we reduce the number of victims, we reduce the stress on society, and once again, equally importantly, that young person ends up with a useful, productive life and become a contributor to society. So if it makes such a huge difference, is there part of you that thinks this is work that the government should be doing, not something that Absolutely. you as an individual should be yeah. paying for? I campaign with the government on these sorts of issues regularly because what no government is very good at is, is getting through the drag curve. You know, what you've got to do sometimes, it, well, a lot of times in life, actually, in business and everything, you've got to put an absolute spellbinding effort in to burst through the problem. Then you get the rewards later. So what we don't do is invest enough in social welfare. We don't invest enough to begin with. That means we're already way behind, and then we have to have more prisons, more cost, £300,000 a year to look after a young person in jail. You know, it, it, it's terrible. Whereas at the moment, it's costing me about £5,000 per year to provide this mentoring service per person. So... You know, the charity uh, investment of £5,000 per person saves the government maybe fifty to £70,000 per person over a period of time. Yeah, extraordinary. And it, it also it highlights how much of your money that you're putting in. And you made a commitment, didn't you? You made a lot of money through your businesses. Mm -hmm. You made a commitment to put 70% of that uh, back into society. Mm -hmm. So tell us why you made that decision and also what happens when you make a statement like that. Do you get a lot of people applying to you saying, <laughs> please help us? <laughs> yeah, you do. But uh, the reason's really very simple. You know, I'm an extremely wealthy guy. What do I do with that money? 
leave it to my children, will it make them any happier? No, it won't. And, and I think, it, in a way, when you've been... I was going to say lucky enough to make this money, but I, I actually slugged myself Give to death some to make it. But, you know, I, I'm lucky that I was born with the ability to make the money, and I've made the money, and I think it's my duty. Well, I can't help myself, actually. It's just the way I feel. I have to help society. And so I pledged to give 70% away during or after my lifetime. Um, probably a lot of it will probably be after because I'm leaving it in a foundation for my children to carry on the work. Because it's very, very difficult to find very cost-effective ways of changing the world. So you've got to look at where is my time best spent, where is my money best spent, and then try and change tens of thousands of lives, not just a few. Fascinating stuff. Well, thanks so much for coming in and telling us Pleasure. about your latest project, John Caldwell. Thanks very much. Oh, and could I just say before I finish, I've got an amazing team, an amazing team that joined into this. In fact, they prospected me to do it. And they are passionate and really dedicated, so thank you for that. OK, well, uh, well done to them as well this yeah. morning. Uh, John, thanks very much indeed. Yeah, thank you.